After a dance off on the set of Good Morning America on day one, the McCallum firefighters then had to tackle a physical agility competition on day two. They had to use their brawn to win the next round to advance to the finals of the GMA Five Alarm Firefighters Challenge to win the grand prize of $10,000. So you can understand the pressure the firefighters faced. They were up bright and early to be at the GMA studios by 6 a.m. and they had to meet with show producers. They had to do hair and makeup and then wait until they were needed for promos and brief cut-ins. This is an awesome crowd, everybody. Say hi to Texas. As the challenge kicks off with putting on the bunker gear. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. McAllen is about even until the firefighters start the bucket brigade. One bucket, two bucket. The McAllen team is able to pass all seven buckets in record time. It was an awesome challenge today. They set us up. We had a 155 gallon bucket full of water. We had to take seven buckets, pass them along to the guy in the middle, pass them on to another 55 gallon bucket, dump them. And then that last guy had to jump up, grab a cat out of the tree, and then turn around and grab the middle guy and throw him up on the ladder and ring a bell. Man, we went and planned it all out, had a great uh, strategy going. And it just came out perfectly, man. Our first one's up there, hit that bell. And Thomas Brooks credits the strategy and performance on Monday to motivate them to win the competition. The trio have become a bit of rock stars in the social media arena. Hometown reaction has been amazing. I, I'm constantly seeing Facebook posts. Like I, I got home after uh, yesterday's filming and everything. I had 45 notifications on my phone from Facebook, uh, new friend requests, you know, congratulations, all sorts of stuff going on, man. It's just blowing up. Thomas had his family from Philadelphia cheering McCallan on to win in the dance off. On the physical agility, he had the GMA crowd cheering them to victory. My family was from Philly. They drove up Sunday. We hung out Sunday. They came and watched the taping and everything yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, they had to go back home. They have jobs they had, got, they had to get to. With all the hype around the obstacle course face-off, the trio strategized for the physical challenge all day. It was intense. I, I told the other teams, watch out, because we're coming in like a hurricane. Hurricane is a perfect example of how Samora Lee passed his competition to ring the final bell to victory. This win automatically moves the McCallum Firefighters to day three's final showdown. Tell me, how do you feel about winning? Oh, stoked. I'm, I'm stoked. I didn't think we would really get up that far. It was one of those, it was a mind thing. Uh, but we actually, one of those, we told them, we said, hey, we're coming as a workhorse. Y'all better watch out. And they kind of took us lightly at first, and then they understood, hey, they're no joke. So hopefully tomorrow we'll go about it and, and, and bring home the gold. Team Red, McAllen, Texas. Congratulations. It was so loud on the set that the McAllen entourage was in shock after GMA's Lara Spencer made the big announcement. It's weird. It's, it, 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 you don't get this at home all the time. It's just, it's just weird. It's, it's humbling, actually, because it's almost like a respectable win. Like, they just go, hey, they, they won. Hey. McAllen will need a slam dunk at a trivia competition against the number two team, Tacoma, Washington, for the grand prize of $10,000. If McAllen firefighters win, they have already pledged to donate the money to the Texas Line of Duty Death Task Force, a nonprofit that provides funeral services, counseling, and retreats to Texas firefighter families who die in the line of duty. It's a daunting challenge for a great cause. I'm Roy Cantu for the City of McAllen.